to the good days, this to the sorrow. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's. So, what do you say about the airbag? Well, our airbag just has a small leak in it, and uh, maybe we should be fine to make it home. So. As long as uh, we can keep air pressure in the tanks, we'll be good. Okay. Take a look in the inside. So this is a 97 Bluebird 8.3 Cummins with the Allison MD 3060. I'm not exactly sure how what the interior height is, but. I'm 5'7", and I have a lot of room, so it's probably about 6'4". Super excited. Still got all the seats, so got to rip them out. View from the inside. I want to give you our mechanics number two. Okay. So he was just giving us mechanics number. Low air. Uh, I've never driven a bus before, but here we go. <laughs> I've driven some big shit. Now, this is uh, interesting, the least to say. Got this low air beeping on us. Hopefully we get back just fine. Oh, it went away. Yeah, it's because it's building air pressure because I'm not on the brakes. Oh. Six gear, but it's not shifting in the six. I think I just gotta do the lockout deal or whatever it is. All right, so we just made it to Larkspur after picking up the bus. Um, we got the bus from Public Surplus online. We had been looking for quite a while, but a lot of the pusher buses that we were wanting were all in different states. But we got pretty lucky finding this one in Denver. So. Now we're just clearing the path so we can get the bus up the driveway. It's kind of icy here, um, so we're a little concerned <laughs> how we're gonna make it up, but we're gonna give it a shot. We gotta get it up somehow. Wish us luck. So I'm gonna show you guys what we gotta get this thing up. Hopefully I don't fall. 
but this is what we got to get the bus up. Uh, we're kind of nervous for it, but I guess we'll see what happens. We're hoping we don't go off into the hill. Um, go off the, oh, almost slipped. <laughs> we're hoping we don't go off in the ditch. We got trees on both sides. We have two icy patches that we're concerned about. So we gotta go around this corner, around that corner over there. Ooh, that is almost flipped. Let me catch up with them. We parked the bus down by the road so we could get everything moved. I cannot believe we just bought a bus. Why am I walking all the way down there? <laughs> Do you want to look at the terrain that we're about to start with hot dog over? Ooh, I think I myself. Oh, great. We just had a burrito, too, so. <sighs> I'm tired. It's been a long day. But, we are doing it. And there's the bus. Let's see if we can zoom in. So. <laughs> Are you walking? Are you gonna walk? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna follow them. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Time <laughs> to get the bus up the hill. Okay, gotta keep up with them now. <laughs> it was at this moment she knew she effed up. I had 90 PSI still, which is good. Awesome. Okay, honey, I'm gonna have you bump out and grab the, the gate for me, don't you? Well, I'm gonna, I think I'm, yeah, go ahead and open it, but I'm gonna get it too, so it doesn't close. Okay. I'll stop here. And we're stuck. <sighs> yeah, I almost had, I was cooking, but my fucking wheels started spinning, so. This is snow, man. Yeah, you were going. I thought you were gonna make it up. So did I, I was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as soon as you turn that corner. I, I can't let off the brakes though, because she's sliding. Nervous. We got it all chained up. We do not have bus chains, so we're hoping we can get it up. Ladies and gentlemen, we weren't able to get it home, but uh, we got it to the bottom of the driveway and behind the fence. So um, some snow got in our way up in the switchbacks of the driveway. I'm sure you'll see in this footage, but. Um, we're working on getting some chains, maybe get it up there because we got snow coming again in a few days. Um, uh, yeah. See you next time. Oh, new.
Nico. Come here. Come here. He's a good boy, huh? All right, so just to give an update. Um, this morning, I we contacted the mechanic from the bus barn that we bought the bus from um, in Denver and explained the situation that we can't get the bus up the driveway. Um, the mechanic was really cool and he said that they had a pair of chains that we could borrow. Um, so I went and picked those up today and Tyler and his dad are putting them on the bus now. So hopefully we'll be able to get this thing up here. So we can start the demo, pull out the seats, the floors, the walls, the ceilings. We have a lot to do. So we definitely want to get this done and get the ball rolling and get our schoolie created. Okay, come right to the pallet and come to, then come to here and then to the tree. Okay. That's right, we're we'll gonna park it. Actually, he may have given it a little love tap. I don't know. <laughs>